YouTube, what's going on guys? Let's talk about some ground blinds, like this one. Inexpensive, but yet incredible. Mophies, off of Amazon. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so if you're in the market for a ground blind like I was, um, this is going to do everything you possibly needed to do, probably and more. It, this is, for the price, very inexpensive, this thing is awesome. Now, set up, break down, everything, very easy. I've already opened this thing once, I've already tried it out. I'm going to do a setup, I'm going to show you guys inside it some of the features. I'll do a breakdown and we're going to go from there. We have in the cover itself a zipper pocket we can keep in here. Um, our stakes that we get with this. We got some stakes that you can stake this thing down to the ground with and you have some rope. So I keep that in this pouch and then I just keep it zippered up inside the cover here for your blind. Now, when we open this up, we have our blind in here. Now, to, to tell you guys before I do open this up, this thing is extremely lightweight, has a nice strap on it, so you could just throw it over your shoulder, get it into the woods where you want. You can take it with you, take it down, same day, very easy to move around. So let's get it out of here. We're gonna take this out. We'll just drop that on the ground for now. Now, in here, we also do have instructions in here, which again, you can use to try to figure out how to set this up and take it down. Again, I'll probably just take this, throw it in our zippered pocket right here. That way we never lose that. And that's that. So now the blind itself. Let's check this out. Again, guys, super easy to set up. You're going to leave this in the shape of a square. Now you're going to have the roof section that you're going to look for, which is going to be right here in the middle. And we have a strap here. We're just going to pull this strap up. All right, that's gonna pop open. We are done with that. Now, on all four sides, you're also gonna have these little loop straps. You're just gonna hook your finger in them, pull it out. You're gonna do this to all four sides. Hook your finger in that loop strap, pull it out. It's two sides done already. A third side. And now fourth. And now, whoop, I just popped it in. That's how easy it is to pop back in and take apart. And now, I want to make sure I'm in camera here. Now we have it set up. So now, we're going to go to the one corner over here. And this is going to be your zippered opening. We can zipper it up and down. There's two zippers and we can get inside now. So let's get inside. Let's check this out a little further. Alrighty guys. So now here we are inside. I'm just going to show you. We have a mesh here inside. Now that's going to be on the two side walls and then the front wall in front of you. The back wall is going to be the zippered opening where you're going to get in and out. So we have a mesh here. This is a shoot through mesh. So if you're shooting fixed broadheads, you can shoot right through this. You don't need to take this down, but there is Velcro around it, which again is a little loud, 
but it allows you to be able to shoot right through there. Um, if you were going to shoot, say, mechanicals and you wanted to sneak into a spot where it was going to be quiet, you could actually just completely remove this and just toss it off to the side. Then if you wanted to, you could take this and there's these little, um, basically, hooks with loops where you can just put these on. Whoa, almost fell over here. Where you could put these on and, you know, that's going to be quiet for you now I had set this up already and my son Hunter and I were shooting out of here side by side so there is plenty of room in here so as you can see that's covered up I actually had that back door open to get into this um, that's open so that's why we have so much light in here if I were to zipper this closed it does get pretty dark as you can see it definitely got much darker in here obviously with this open you know it's gonna let in some light but there you go this is completely blacked out in here right now so but let me just show you guys just how much room we do have in here now hunter and i were sitting against this back wall in here both of us together and we were shooting side by side. He was shooting out of this opening and I was actually had my stool up against basically the door that you open up to get in and out. And I was shooting out of the smaller opening, obviously not through the mesh. I shoot mechanicals, but um, I had these two open. I left that one closed and uh, we're shooting right out of it without a problem while sitting in a stool on a stool and uh we fit no problem in here like i said right up against that back wall plenty of room to be able to draw your bow and to actually shoot i'll actually bring my bow in here and take a few shots at the target out of here but um really it's it, it's just a nice blind there's uh you know as far as a blind goes if you're gonna get like the uh the 270 degree see-through blinds obviously they're going to be a little more expensive this thing has a ton of room it is completely blacked out in here uh, i'll show you something else in here as well we have a little pocket against this back wall there is the pocket now you could just store some stuff in there if you wanted to here is the other wall inside here on my right side, obviously shooting out in front. And then we have the left wall over here, which has three more windows, just like the front. So in here, you're gonna have a total of nine windows, but I just want to grab my bow and I'll show you how much space you actually have to be able to draw inside here and to be able to get a shot while outside so let me zoom out for a second i'm going to put this off to the side i'll get my bow i'll bring it in and i'll take a few shots and just show you how much room you actually have okay so here you go i am sitting in the blind hopefully i got you guys within uh camera view now i'm leaning against this back wall the left wall with my back up against the wall here let me knock an arrow real quick. Now, just want to show you. I have plenty of room. So, this is the bow on my knee. I'm pretty far back against this back wall. I have that deer target. It's about almost 25 yards here. And as you can see, now I am a 28 and a half inch draw length. and plenty of room to be able to shoot out of here. Now again, I have plenty of room to draw. Hunter was shooting out of this window over here, the bigger window. I was shooting out of the smaller left window over here. And um, as you can see, plenty of room to be able to draw a bow out just out of this smaller window. 
Now, like I said, a ton of room. Um, I mean, I probably have two feet in front of me, you know, of space. For one person, I mean, you'd have a ton of room in here. Two people, you're good with hunting. Uh, two people, you could be in here with bows, with plenty of room. The mosquitoes here are just horrible today. It's been raining for four days, five days straight here in New Jersey. And I have mosquitoes like crazy around me. Probably should have set up my thermosel. I will definitely put that down in the video description because the thermosel is a must have. Um, no mosquitoes at all. But so anyway, I'm sitting in here. I have plenty of room to be able to shoot out of this smaller window. If you were hunting by yourself and you say, say, you know, for example, wanted to just sit right dead smack in the middle here, you have just this one window. Maybe, you know, you only open up two of the windows. Um, if you wanted a video, there's plenty of room in here for a tripod or for a camera guy while you're hunting. If you wanted to come out hunting, for example, bring a couple of your younger kids. You have plenty of room to do that as well. I'm planning on taking my daughter actually out. She's uh, been asking to go and wanting to just say Hunter is, you know, obviously addicted to hunting as it is. But my daughter wants to come out. And I said, well, once the ticks and the chiggers kind of die out a little bit, I'll get you out there. I don't want to really bring her on the tree stand because... She kind of is a little restless, so I figure a ground blind would be perfect for her. Again, guys, this thing's like, you, you can get it as cheap as, I think, $80 when Amazon has it on a special. Typically, it's only around $90, uh, you know, full price. You might even be able to get it cheaper soon. I'm not sure. I'll definitely put this listing for this blind down in my uh, description so you guys could check it out yourself. But pl just, just plenty of room in here. And... This thing is completely blacked out. Now, I'll take you and show you a few things on the outside because with a ground blind, brushing these in, I feel is a must. And uh, let me get out of here. Let's go check out the outside. I'll show you a few things on that. I'll break it down for you. And uh, that'll be the video. So hold on one second. Alrighty guys, so now we're on the outside of the blind. Now one of the best things that are on this blind are two rows of loops. Now that is super important because one of the most important things about setting up your blind that you can do is brush your blind in and holy crap that was just a big old wasp on me. Huh, that was great. So one of the most important things you can do when setting up a blind is brushing it in. Now they make it easy. They give you a row of loops around the middle area of the blind and along the top side of the blind. Now, I just broke some branches off of a tree right by the woods over here and I'm gonna show you how we do this. We're just gonna break off some branches. We're gonna take them and we just stick them into these loops. You can do as many or as little as you like, just like this. Stick them in there. Now you want to make it so you can actually be able to shoot out of there. But you want to break up the silhouette of this blind, right? So we take some, we put them up top, we put some in the bottom. There we go. And you can see already, just with four little branches, we've broken up the silhouette. You're going to look a lot more like a bush. You're going to blend in a lot more this is very important when you're hunting a cornfield say you're on the edge of a cornfield you take some corn stalks you brush it in you slide them into these loops around there you're not going to stick out so much what i like to do with my blinds is get them up a, get them up get it up against a group of trees or i like to get it against a fallen tree that's down and brush it in that way they'll have no idea so what i want to do though is i want to take this blind I'm going to set it up about 20 yards away from this deer target. Set up the camera back behind the deer target. I'll zoom into this area so you can actually see inside here. Or try to see me inside there. And we'll take a shot as if it was coming from a deer's view, a deer's perspective. Now, 
One of the other more important things I think always you should always do when hunting out of a blind is wear black, at least black from the waist up. You're gonna blend in with the inside of here. You're gonna be basically blacked out inside there. You're not gonna get picked off when you're trying to move as much. So let's get this into position and let's take a shot and I'll zoom into this window. Maybe I'll throw a couple more limbs on here just to kind of brush it in a little bit more and then we can see what that's gonna look like. Alrighty guys, here you are. I brushed in the blind a little bit more, nothing crazy. I put maybe three or four more branches inside it. I've got the deer target right here, literally a yard in front of where I have um, the camera set up and I zoomed into that window. So now what you should see is once I open the back door to get in, you might be able to see inside there a little bit. But once I zip that up and it's blacked out in there with this black hoodie on, you're probably going to see it's definitely much harder to see. Now, I left a little bit of an opening there in the front so that you guys can see firsthand me inside there. Hopefully, you don't see me inside there because it is blacked out. I'm going to just grab my seat. I'm going to grab my arrow and my bow and we are going to get inside there. So here we go. Let's unzip this and open this blind up. Let's get inside and let's see what we can do here. Now, here we are. I just opened it up. Obviously that's gonna let in some more light than when this is all closed up and blacked out. Now I am inside here. Here we go. Now, I have a definite easy shot. Hopefully you can see me here. Hello, right here. Let's zip this closed. Okay, we are zip closed. Now I'm sitting directly in front of this window here. Let's put my hood up. We're gonna replicate really being blacked out in here. I'm knocking my arrow right now. We're gonna to come to full draw and we are going to shoot the target. So here we are, I'm about to draw. There we are. And there's that. So now, you might be able to see me in here a little bit. You might not be able to see me here at all. Again, guys, don't forget when this is in the woods and we're in a little bit more cover in here, it's not going to be nearly as light inside this blind as it is right now in the wide open backyard. So let's get out of the blind now and let me grab the camera. By the way, here are the three shots that I took out of the blind in this video at this target. And all three would have smoked that deer. Just saying. <laughs> Let's talk about breaking down the blind now. Very easy. If you're not leaving this up for a while, we would just take the branches that we put in there out it really takes no time at all you know obviously if you're gonna leave this out in the woods we would just leave this thing brushed in for the season maybe um, depending on if you're hunting public or private land breakdown completely opposite obviously of setup we're just gonna take where these little metal loops are, the little um, metal hooks that have the fabric sewn loops on them. We're just gonna take it, and we're just gonna push in just on all four, all four sides, the little metal eye that's on them. Let me zip that back up. 
we push in the four sides. The only thing that's left after that is just to push down the roof. Now, once we do that, we can just take it. It literally will just fold up like this. At that point, we take the cover We slide it into here. We are broken down. We pack up. We head back out to our trucks. Guys, that is really it. That's how easy it is to set up and break this thing down. Concealment, just as good as anything else, more expensive. Um, just wanna show you the stools that I use inside here. These are actually from Walmart. Um, my local Walmart has them. I, I want to say they're under $10. But it's just a little stool like this. It's actually got on the one side a zippered pocket. You could actually keep stuff inside there. And it's got a strap. So that you could just throw that over your shoulder too. This thing weighs like two pounds. It literally weighs nothing. And uh, at the end of the season, these things go on sale for under $5. So I grabbed it. Um, the other one that I use was one I got years ago from Field and Street. I mean, from Dick's Sporting Goods, actually. It's a uh, it's made by Field and Stream. This thing is super light, too. This probably, probably even weighs less than this one does. But it just has three legs and, you know... You sit on there, it doesn't have a back to it, but it's actually really comfortable. Both of them are really comfortable for just setting up in a blind. But that's about it, guys. This is the Mophie's blind. Um, I'll link it down in my description. You'll be able to go right to Amazon and check it out. It'll give you all the dimensions. And uh, again, guys, an inexpensive blind that has a ton of space inside has all the loops around it so that you can brush it in give yourself complete concealment um hiding you inside it because you brush it in again guys super important i think is to make sure when you're in a blind to wear black when you're hunting with kids these things are a must allows them to move around a little bit more these things are also incredible for areas where you just don't have the trees to get yourself up and to set yourself up in a tree so guys check it out the mophie's ground blind you will not be disappointed thanks for watching